I meant to bring uh, a feeding rim. Put on some fondant. Oh well. So really what all I'm doing now is I've got this inner cover on upside down. The, the uh, entrance is in the back. I just want to flip it up and move it the other way around so they have an entrance in the front. I didn't take any honey from over the went over the before the winter, so they've got all. I don't think they really need food. And it's mild today, so I, I feel like I can do this without causing too much disruptions. But look at this, you can see where moisture is getting in. Right there. Oh yeah, they're clustering high now. You can see there's some moisture got in on the edges here. I had uh, this inner cover uh, sealed in with uh, this tape. Sometimes I wonder, does that actually hold the moisture in? Beehives should be made like Lego. They should just snap together. So they were clustering a little bit higher than I expected. Um, you can see that you can see in the shot. It, the cluster is just coming right above the, the whole cluster. Looks like it's getting above the top bars. Uh, I wonder why, because I don't think they're low on honey. Unless there's something in the bottom, maybe moisture has gotten to the bottom of the hive, and uh, they're just giving away from the moisture. Or there's something inside the hive, like a mouse, or maybe shrews are getting in, but I don't think so. You can see the cracks. See. Like, how is that a good system? Uh, it, those boxes, they don't always provide the, a perfect seal. Um, you can leave them alone in the, in the summertime and they seal it themselves with propolis. But if you have to take the boxes apart or the inner cover off for any reason, you've broken the seal, right? See, so, yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, so anyway, these bees are clustering high. They're above the top bars. And if I... Normally, if I see the bees just clustering above like that, I think, okay, they're running low on honey. It doesn't necessarily mean that that's, that's the way it is, because some bees just never really cluster up they, they, or cluster down. They just stay up and all, all year round, and they just go up and down. I figure there's some of that moisture that I saw up top must have been seeping down into the bottom frames, and there might be some mold on the bottom frames, and they're just staying off it, and so they're coming up. <clears throat> I don't know. But if they were getting hungry and kind of looks like they might be, uh, just to be safe, uh, the next chance I get, I am going to put on uh, a feeder rim and drop some, one of these into it, uh, which is a big bag of uh, fondant, which is sugar. Right, this is hive number two, and uh, pull up the hive pillow, what I call a hive pillow, and we look down here, and there's no bees. I just assume that they're uh, they're down below. So I'm just gonna put that back. They've got their top entrance. I've got a bottom entrance. It's probably clogged with snow. I got all this insulation sort of wrapped around them because I just uh, it was extremely cold weather there for a little while. Ah, the sounds of spring in Newfoundland. Off in the distance, an ATV burped in my face while well, driving up a hill. See, I completely forgot to do what I had to do today. Um, I brought some pots. Let me break, buddy. I brought some, uh, some fondant, but I forgot to bring a, a feeding rim. Whoa, look at, the, look at this, this is wet. Wow, that's wet too. Something's producing moisture. Okay, they're clustering down underneath their, in the frames now. I should have brought my feeding rim. So anyway, uh, yeah, there's moisture right here. I've seen this before when I've had uh, basically moisture quilts on my hives, which is more or less what I've got going here. Um, the condensation from the bees rises up through the inner cover hole, 
or if you have an inter if you have a moisture quilt or a quilt box, it's uh, it's almost like a complete screen, so it just rises up to the whole thing. But anyway, it comes up through the inner cover hole, uh, condenses uh, on that cold top cover, and then falls down on this. And uh, normally, I would have um, a rim with in with a, a ventilation rim with. Uh, Ventilation holes on the side and all that moisture would would leak out the the sides, but this one doesn't have one uh, I'll put a, a proper uh, ventilation rim on them soon, but I think what I'm gonna do for now whoops, Get away get away. They're, they're coming up already. I'm just gonna put that right on top of them. So that's uh, That ain't good finding moisture of any kind like that build up but uh, It shows you like I didn't I didn't have uh, any ventilation up top for that moisture to uh, to go away, to evaporate out into the wilderness, and uh, that's what you get. You get a pillow, a burlap pillow full of wood chips that gets damp like that. And this, the way I have this in, this is not doing anything. It's, it's in fact, it's probably not helping at all. That's um, the way this stuff works. Is it, it needs dead air space to hold in the air. And that's not what it's producing there. But anyway, actually, that should be underneath the uh, the inner cover, and then you'd have about a centimeter of space between this and the top bars, and this would reflect the heat back down. So they've got some fondant now, and I'll just leave a little bit of it right there. So if they want to come out and breathe a little bit, they can, but they can still get at that fondant. Look at this guy trying to figure out where he's going. They just they get upside down, and then they can't get right side up. 